A man gets the ball and he's like. And, the and a man goes. <laughs> he doesn't even try to hit it! Welcome to Comments Below, the show that just carries on, doesn't it? Just like Scotland trying to get to the World Cup. This week, I am Poet, you are Vuj. What What's going on, you are good, How are you? Nice to see you again. You good? I'm just really tired of it. Like, you always get exhausted of International Weekend. We have some comments. We talk about football last week. You know, we get the comments. We chat about football. Shout out to everybody watching Copa Night. You obviously have been, been getting mad them coming up to you in the streets. Bro, I was in oh, Sweden I this weekend. Copa Night, you know? I was like, yeah, what? Comment? He's like, yeah, comments below ting. The comments ting. I'm Class. like, yeah, the comments ting. I was in Sweden. Gang. In Stockholm, Dang. I couldn't get into the bar, and a guy said to me, "No, that's poet fam. Yeah, come, come through. Comments below and all that." I was like, "What? What? Copper fam? What? Gang? We're international, you know." Fam, man in a Sweden. Man in the USA was like, "Yo, man, yo." I'm like, "What?" And I'm just here, just I'm really rack up in it, black. Hey, all right, look, we've got some uh, comments before we go into the actual international break. Um, Kasper Toft, Abuja's face and poet started screaming Venga out was a madness. I hope Yo. we can replay it now. <laughs> Venga out! Venga out! Go! We got one that says Vuj's Bay. I agree. I already missed Bad Boy Vuj getting those clean sheets. Bring back the old intro. Do you know what? It was really nice for you to have clean sheets, I feel it like. It was, not it? You had more clean sheets than Czech. So I'm not gonna lie though, my sheets tend to be a bit liquid dirty after a while. Is it? Oh, once every two, three months when it starts stinking. Once every two, three months? As anyway, we, won. we had obviously a very tricky fixture away to Malta. Um, fans were crazy. It was, it, I can't even fucking joke around about it, but Obese 98 says international break is depressing. Chosen to support Kazakhstan as my international team instead of England. More exciting. More I nice. respect it. Do you know what? I feel like by choosing a mediocre international team that you never really know what you're going to get, it does become more exciting. Welcome to being a Serbia fan. Did you watch the game? Oh, Drips and drabs. Do you know like, did you watch the game? It's almost like it's a relative concept. Oh, I hear you. Did you watch the game? It wasn't attractive though. As a fi- it was nothing. As, as a fixture, I would have expected to see England stroke the ball about quite convincingly, like confidently. Yeah. Just, it just seems nah. like, do you know what I mean? Even the goals, like Danny Welbeck's finish was decent. Across from the right hand side, literally, it's come over his shoulder. And on the volley, he has tapped it over the keeper's head on the tip of his toes. So it was a decent. And Rashford's ball to Harry Kane was incredible. But it's Malta. You know what's mad? Go on, brother. On Twitter, you know, like Twitter, football Twitter. Yeah. It goes mad. Everybody's always talking about. I feel like it's football Twitter's day, day off. I don't, even know, I don't even know England's playing. People don't care to that level. Yeah. Even on social media, no one's talking about it. There's a lack of competitive edge when England play teams like Malta. I feel yeah. like things would be a little bit more. For example, South American football will probably never die purely because oh, you've no. got the Brazilians we'll versus the Argentinians and the, Ch- the Chileans and That's you know the, passion, the Colombians. Different. They're passionate, but also the competition is quite high. The quality threshold is yeah. high. Every time England get a group, whether it be for the Euros or the World Cup, Malta, Luxembourg, like Faroe Islands, you're like, bloody, it's not even Faroe, dog. Like, this is not fair at all. Why don't we get a group of Better team because we're seeded first. But then again, I know what you mean. You could maybe, as a second seed, you could maybe get a Serbia or a Turkey. Now, do you know what or I'm saying? Croatia. And I'm not saying as an England fan. Last time that happened, Croatia. Do you remember? Make it. Rather get a challenge than stroll our way there, and then obviously World Cup comes. And man, like Iran, draw to. I'm, I'm predicting it already. We're gonna draw to Iran. We're gonna probably draw to like Uganda, and you're gonna lose to like fucking Sweden, Sweden or Spain, and you're out. What is it? Oh, like, mate, let's just go to the Copa Final because we just. Let's just go to the Copa. Look, yeah. is it? Gareth, I, I would kick, I would honestly fire, I would fire everyone in the FA. Yes. I would fire Gareth Southgate. I don't know. You think he's good? It's not that I think he's good. I don't good. trust him. I just don't trust him. I just think the problem's at the top. Yeah. And then once that we'll at the top that, is good, then they'll make then sure that the, the right look. manager comes in. you know in. I'm coming from? Yeah. I, watched, I only watched the 40 minute highlights. I don't think the quality threshold again was that high. Uh, it was France versus Holland and that's a little bit surprising. Towards the back end of the game, Great strike from Lamar. Fantastic oh. strike from Lamar on the oh, half volley. Yeah, Top yeah. bins. That was absolute quality. But for a game of two teams of great magnitude, I just expected so much more. And I mean, Griezmann's dance was cool. Look, but cute. Netherlands actually have been falling through a little bit. I haven't got the table here, but I believe Netherlands will be fighting for the second spot with um, Bulgaria and I believe also with Sweden. And it's I looking mean, like it's going to be a last game match off between mm. Sweden and Holland on who gets the second place spot. 
So it's going to be quite tight because Holland have dropped off quite badly. And this is so sad because so I'm not I'm, surprised by the four now. But like you look at the sweet the, the Sweden, the, the Dutch sides of the past, and you've got the Clarence Sados, the Davids, the Van Nistelrooy's. They just had a really really good side, and all of a sudden, as time has gone on, you've gone to like Memphis Depay and all of these really really poor players and. It's upsetting to see the Netherlands lose 4-0 to just France. I, just, I mean, they had a red card as well. I like the international break. Shout out Ellie Menjum, obviously a big fan of the international break as well. This is what I mean though. France nil, Luxembourg nil. What the fuckity fuck fuck. And you're talking about a French side that's got the likes Man of... Man like Luxembourg. Kuman, Martial. Uh, the team's Lacazette, worth 26 grand. Drew, fam, I think that's too much. To be fair, they had like 79 shots on goal, 75 possession. Like, they dominated, but the fact that this is Luxembourg's I'd say, say biggest, probably most historic result. Um, they, I believe they actually got a win in the last round against the Belarus. So Luxembourg, for some reason, I think they've got one of the youngest teams as well in Europe. Oh, it's bare youth, man. I'm not going to lie. I don't know much about Luxembourg. They'll probably all just go uni still. Let us know, Copper fan, what you think about Lux, the Lux and Luxembourg. Leave comments, let us know as we move on to... Greece versus Belgium. My best memories of Greece is David Beckham's last minute free kick. They could have really have done that in this game as Belgium beat them 2 1. Goals from Vertonghen and yes. Lukaku, both in the Premier League. And a goal from Goncalves Rodriguez. Sounds Greek. Belgium are the first European team to qualify. Can this be a World Cup where they finally fulfil that potential? I doubt it. Should I look like us? Well, I'm trapping in the rain. Hey, trap, trap, hey, trapping in the rain. Belgium side, they just don't have that passion. Like, I'm proud to be from Belgium. I think it just comes through when they go to the I love how we talk about these ethno cultural diversity slash social economic issues. But I feel like they don't have an impact. I agree. They genuinely have an impact. Serbia's whack. When we play as a team, we are yeah. whack. What's it like as a country, though? Are you quite united? Is a well, lot? not really, no. It's like all Arsenal fans. We're not united. Look at the... Hef- if, if, you, if Arsenal was a country, it'd be a perfect reflection of how... Oh, you Arsenal, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just... Serve is mad. But tell us what you think about Belgium. Can they fulfil that potential? I, I'm going to also say no. But when Belgium play Brazil, who's more proud to be from their country? But you're t- this, is, this is when you're talking about social cultural, cultural dynamics. Them boys from the favelas... Yeah. ...that have been playing in total A's... Yeah. ...and, and sandals... Out. Just get out. How do you not become the best? Because you love it, you enjoy it. Like, can you see it? It's and embedded you walk in your out culture. Here and you're like, well, can we get a grant from the council? No ball games. No ball games in this patch here. Do you know what I mean? These times can't do the- anything in this country. So how do you win the World Cup? So when you talk about social cu- cultural issues, maybe it does matter. Fuck it. How are you gonna win a World Cup with no ball game signs everywhere? Everybody, I want you to find no ball game signs within your area and just That's why we England Copper 90 and we're going to say these are the reasons why we because there's no England ball game signs winning. everywhere. We should have we ball games embr- allowed. Ball games everywhere. Everyone now is watching cricket where a man throws a ball like that and then a the man just does that. A man gets the ball, a man gets the ball and he's like... And a man, man goes... <laughs> he doesn't even try to hit it! Leave a comment and let us know what you think as we move on to one team and especially one player who I'm I not feel a cricket fan. has become one of the most... He's become seriously one of the, the, the best players in the world. And I know that's an exaggeration, some might say, but I genuinely believe Isco is a different class of footballer right now. I don't know what Zidane said to him, I don't know what type of French bread he's given him, but right now he is on this Sava, Bonjour, mm. Abianto, he's on everything. He is going absolutely mad. Isco is playing the best football of his life. And to think he was linked with Spurs like two years ago. Italy got steam, steamrolled over. Us being one of the favourites again? They are, aren't they? Um... I imagine Are they kind so. of getting back up there? They're getting back up. There's a lot of teams that Because there was like, that decline, and now they're like, we got this goal. Variety basically said that is the hardest game he's ever played in his life. It was harder than playing against Messi. Even NTX saying, hashtag what a guy to Isco for absolutely destroying Italy. Isco is doing bits. Leave comments and let us know if you are Spanish. What has happened to Isco in the past few years? What do you feel is the reason for these high caliber performances? I think that's really important as well. A Welsh side that had a debut team that scored a goal from like 25 Man, like yards, which was a mad thing. Does he play for Liverpool? Blood. He's mad, but look at Michael Yude says, all I want to say is, I'm so glad Ben Woodburn has a Welsh grandfather. That's all. Continue with the show, guys. Mental. Does he play for Liverpool? Yes, and he scored a goal on his debut there as well. A man's goal against Austria. Oh. The technique was bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. He said, fuck it, I'm playing for Wales, man. Fuck all this England Malta shit. I want this Welsh shit, because these men actually care. Huh? This... Now the Welsh kept, that being Welsh is such a thing to be proud of. This group for me is obviously very, very important as Serbia are top. Mm -hmm. We are two points clear. We play Ireland tomorrow, away from home. 
we beat Ireland and we're five points clear with two games to go. And then you just need a point, realistically. You need a point from a game against Austria and Georgia. And you're thinking anyone could fuck it up, it anyone. would be Serbia. It would be, like right now, man has no confidence. I can't believe that we're top of the group and my confidence is on zero. Let us know about the Welsh fans, you know, Welsh fans, hit us up, man. Why are you so proud to be Will Welsh? They, you can, should be proud to be Welsh. Can they take over Ireland as well? Oh, please do, man. Red Dragons, I'm down for you lot. You've got Aaron Ramsey, Welsh Jesus, you've got Gareth Bell, and now you've got this young, this young boy, Woodburn, scored his debut for Liverpool and for Wales. He clearly doesn't have any care in the world when it comes to this world stage. He's like, this is just like me kicking the ball where they say ball games allowed. We take the we take the plane, I think, not not a boat because that would be too fucking long. Mm. But here it's looking absolutely tight because Brazil, they've, they've qualified, they've absolutely dominated this group. Only one loss, but Colombia, Uruguay, Chile, Argentina, and Peru. Wow, Paraguay and Ecuador. Ecuador. Everybody's fighting for There's that. There's five points that separate Ecuador and Colombia. Yeah. If you look at the table on the screen, you can see that that sh shouldn't be happening. And Argentina are in the playoff spot, so they're not even actually automatically going through at this stage I'll be at the playoff spot yeah. Di Maria Messi Aguero or Higuain wherever you choose um, Dybala and you scored 15 goals they have scored the least amount of goals with that attack I don't know but Argentina you're in some bloody problems man it would, I would hate to you know, go to a major competition and not see Messi play I tell you that so Argentinian fans or people that are aware of the situation please inform us in the comments what is going wrong at Argentina is it a gaffer is there an internal problem in the camp but Right now, we do take a 17-hour flight, or maybe even 24, as we are in Japan. Japan have qualified for the World Cup. They beat Australia. A great comment here from Jonathan Shidi, who says, Hey, watching Australia with Japan game. Wondering why Australia decided to leave while going to be the best player on format out of the game. Aaron Moy, who is starting for the third place, caught hardest role in the France. Yes. It's kind of like Arsene Wenger leaving on Lacazette, or Portugal leaving Ronaldo, or a slab not squatting with the boys. The Aussies might have to also go through extra qualifying. Yes. Um, they might do. Is it? And there are some actually amazing stories. If you've been following Ellie Menjum on the Twitter, do get at him. Um, of nations potentially coming through. Uganda might actually make it to the World Cup this time. Algeria looking like they're going to miss out. Ghana might miss out. So there's going to be a whole new wave of African countries. That's sick. Um, hopefully. Um, also, Algerians are crazy. A massive game. A massive game is Syria, Iran. Syria, Iran. Syria could make it to the World Cup. Are you serious? Either automatically or as a playoff spot and they could get Australia. We move on and we talk <laughs> about, you know, you guys were very, very. Uh, Opinionated on the transfers. Opinionated right? on the transfers we spoke about um, last week. Uh, we have on Chamberlain, a few comments here. I think Chamberlain will be a decent player for Liverpool, but it's been so great seeing people turning out Chelsea this window. Harry says 35 million is a lot, but you can't say anything because that's just an average price now. Drink water costs a lot, but at least he's ambitious, unlike Chamberlain or Barkley. BFC has shows that Chamberlain left for less money. Shows how bad a changing room is at Arsenal. I think totally that's the agree. key point. Totally, totally agree. If you're getting offered a new contract, one year left on your contract, you probably start to think, do you not even want me? Because guess what? These men are offering me bare contracts. I've got Champions League football waiting. Like if Arsenal made this offer two years ago, who knows what would have happened? But I just think you can't be making mad off of like 180 bags last mm. season. He might have gone, you know, I'll have that. So Mbappe, a massive one. I was trying to smash through these. Son Goku, Mbappe to is 100% money money. He's 18 and wants 10 million euros in tonight. Fucking Real Madrid. If you're on the bench, at least bench for Madrid. Do you think he's going to start with a Neymar or the man of 49 goals last season? Are you drunk? He's gone from number one to number two in star power. and went on to the team he beat to the title and his team outdid in the UCL. That money from Mbappe is worth it, says Isaac Pedersen. Proving the Champions League is at such a young level. Scored a goal yesterday for France after just five minutes on the pitch. He's still only 80 and he's so marketable. I can't lie, Mbappe's goal against Holland was mad though. I kind of agree with the first comment. Let's point to the camera and say. What, what a guy! guy. Jacob Mitchell, what a guy to rest up upgrade or top one league scoring signaling skills in one after six games with the Serbian League after all. What a guy to Kieran Goose to finally get the move to a big club. What a guy to Chris was only New Zealand in the Premier League prep for Burnley, making us a small football nation have a large sense of pride when he scored against Spurs. He's shining a light all night. What a guy specs. What a guy to Mooch say, then he drink water, but poets drink water. What a guy to Rob Holding say he couldn't pay me for anything with Colin Chill and getting slapped. What a guy to me who has two starting one month fam gang gang. William Scott, bro, I got eight, eight, eight stars and three A's in my juicy season. Hashtag oh. what a guy, bro. But I want to give it to David who lost two starting in one month. What, what a guy! guy. Leave us a for what a guy, hashtag what a guy, and we'll include it in next shout week's out. shout out specs Show. though. Totos, it's the remix this week on social media. As always, it's gone crazy. Wenger and, and Stanchez in the tracksuit is funny. Pep shot you to us, man, a couple of years back. You don't rate you, Alexis. I know, but but what are you a dickhead? <laughs> but I could have his old. Was it was it Pep that's old, Alexis? I don't care if he took you to Orton Towers, he's not your real dad. Make sure you're <laughs> You told your mother that as well, cuz. It's dumb, it's dumb. And we have obviously Game of Thrones, which I still haven't fucking watched. Yeah, same here. Danny, John, it's 97 degrees in the middle of June. Take off the jacket. Man's not hot. <laughs> Everyone loves that phrase, you know, all the time. Club club shot was raided last night. They were looking for Mesut Ozil, but he was nowhere to be found, probably because he doesn't live in a fucking club shop. 
I do like that, them honest answers. As well, Michael Jackson was an arsehole and remember the time. He was an arsehole in a lot of his videos, honestly. He stepped onto the scene, a flat of a man's girl, caused chaos, then hee hee into the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He came into like, do you remember? And then there's Bear Man trying yeah. to cut. He's broken. <laughs> That's <laughs> a felony. He's broken, moved to a man's girl. He's made people run into each other. He's disappeared and then bust out with a gang. <laughs> Hee hee, Chamo, ha ha, Chamo, motherfucker, Chamo, motherfucker. Oh, you're so ignorant. I'm Michael Jackson. Can I say that? You're so ignorant. Premier League obviously is back. If you didn't know that, then you probably don't watch football. But it will be back next week. Uh, Liverpool, Man City. Leave your comments about what that. A game. More qualifiers on Tuesday. No matter where you're from in the world, we want to know your story. We want to know about players we should know about, like Moy from Australia. Who's the best Syrian player, the Japanese players? Moise, Tell yeah. us more. We want to know more. Please and more. Leave comments and boom. Before See you, you next depart, week. Though, before you do depart, yeah. um, I was in Stockholm on the weekend. Yeah. We released a video, video today of Viba. So please cool. do check the link in the description for the new Viba video. You know what? It's really nice. Can, can, I, can, can my dons finesse it in Sweden on the intro again? Nah, because I want the, the dons to finesse it in it. I want the dons to finesse yeah, it yeah, in bring it, man. Bring it. Bam, a man said, oh my God, Sweden was so mad. A guy goes, oh, poet. I was like, oh, yeah, my dons finesse it in Sweden. I was like, this is my, like, people, seriously, I appreciate the love so much. Even someone tweeted me yesterday and said, yeah, let's all support poet, man. Like, he's... You man are so sick. God bless you. Have a nice. Danny, drink water.